Alright guys, so with the release of Crimson Coral as well as Frill Jellyfish now, I am going to be updating the PvP tier list for September 2023. And just to let you guys know, of course, like always, the tier list is going to be based on my opinion as well as my experience inside of the arena for the pure vanilla server. And some of the cookies might be a little bit different in the tier depending on the servers. But generally, the main cookies used inside of all the servers are going to be within the meta, SS, as well as S. But here we go, guys. Let's quickly go over the D tier all the way up to A tier and just kind of quickly just address them and show you guys uh, which cookies they are. D tier cookies that you should probably stay away from. Sonic, Tail, Chili Pepper, Black Raisin, Fig, Kumio, Dark Choco, Pastry, Sparkling, Raspberry, Snow Sugar, Tiger Lily, as well as Lilac. So these cookies have been in the D tier for quite some time now and I'll highly recommend you guys to stay away from them and not invest in them because this gonna be a waste of pretty much skill powders and exp star jellies c tier uh these cookies are just maybe below average right b is probably average c is a little below average and d is like useless so c tier cherry blossom we got coco we got twizzy gummy we also have strawberry crepe moon rabbit affogato licorice even with the magic candy and i'll have to say mint choco candy diver and poison mushroom all right so these cookies are um yeah uh, can be used sometimes but still probably recommended to stay away from b tier uh these guys are the average ones all right they can replace some of the cookies inside of the meta and um if you guys really need to all right so no cookie with the magic candy we got tartan we got royal margarine caramel arrow almond pomegranate we also have someone like rye with the magic candy oyster macaron carol uh cream unicorn as well as profit so uh, the cookies that are uh, kind of, you know, better than some of the other inside of the B tier are going to be someone like Rye with the Magic Candy as well as Pomegranate. But they definitely did have been pushed out of the meta for uh, some time now because of the lack of damage from Rye. Rye does do single hit damage, but with the amount of damage resist, shields and stuff like that, her skill is not very useful. Pomegranate, yes, the healing is pretty darn good, but compared to the, uh, you know, the cookies right now, uh, the heal and the attack up is not as useful as it seems, all right, because of the sheer amount of other buffs that are able to be provided by other cookies plus different things, all right? So uh, that's the reason why. And then A tier are the cookies that are, um, I would say, above average, but not directly inside of the meta. They may have certain one or two comps that can be used, like the summoner comp, which honestly isn't really being used anymore too. Uh, but yeah, they can be used. But if you have the option, probably stick with the meta SS and the S. All right, we have Milky Way now. We have uh, Dark Cacao, Pumpkin Pie, Crunchy Chip, Cotton, Eclair, Red Velvet, Espresso with the Magic Candy, uh, as well as Pinecone, Financier, and Vampire with the Magic Candy. So I have brought down Milky Way. I have brought down Vampire. Uh, and uh, these cookies, you know, they have been used. Uh, they had their comps, but they're being used a lot less now with the you know slow and uh you know gradual shift and expansion of the meta comps all right uh, they just don't do enough damage or uh they just don't have enough unique abilities right now or they're just straight up too squishy to be used inside of the arena all right now let's go into the meta all right so these cookies are literally going to be kind of filling up the majority of the comps here inside of our current arena teams all right, so first of all, without a doubt, we got Crimson Coral. All right, we got Pattaya, we got Hollaberry. Uh, still, we have Moonlight, Stardust, obviously. And then we have Black Pearl with the Crystal Jam or without the Crystal Jam, but of course, Meta with the Crystal Jam. And then we have uh, Shining Glitter still, as well as Frill Jellyfish now, Rockstar, Snapdragon, as well as Parfait. So let's just quickly go over it. Crimson Coral, absolutely insane. She absolutely makes a lot of cookies viable right now, especially the water type element cookies. And she just provides insane amount of buffs for your entire team, allowing for us, you know, previous squishy comps to become a lot more durable and uh, a lot more tankier. All right. And then we also still have Pattaya and Hollowberry. They're not dead. They're still meta. They're still being used a lot. Of course, not as much as before because we have Crimson Coral who cannot be used with another tank. Uh, but we do have them still being used. All right. We still have Moonlight and Stardust. Uh, still very, very good, especially for people who are not able to create Crystal Jams for both Seafair and, 
you know, Black Pearl, uh, Moonlight, still amazing. Stardust, probably still, uh, if not the best, all right? I have to say probably still the best uh, cookie inside of the game, especially for the PvP aspect of things. We got Shining Glitter, kind of actually got a lot better too because of the, uh, you know, addition of Crimson Coral who has HP Shield. And uh, we have Shining Glitter who is able to zap that and get rid of it as, uh, you know, as fast as she casts it, all right? And then we have someone like, Pro Jellyfish, absolutely amazing right now for the PvP. Straight up a arena comp, uh, you know, arena uh, focus cookie here. Uh, the one second cooldown is absolutely insane for the star. You do super fast, uh, you know, uh, ensnare, attack speed slow. And then on top of that, she is also able to heal. Uh, not a ton, but still a pretty decent amount if you do have her die off before your uh, entire team. So she's actually pretty darn good and a lot of you know top ranking players are using her inside of the team and then we got rockstar snapdragon and parfait still they uh it's rockstar and parfait are being interchangeably used uh but these two right over here i would say for jellyfish and snapdragon are the main healers that are being used right now inside of the arena now moving on to the ss tier all right so these cookies are still good but i wouldn't say they're gonna be like super meta as uh some of these cookies right over here so we got Knight with the magic candy uh we got uh, our sea fairy with the crystal jam we still have capsaicin here sherbet and then we got black lemonade we got sorbet with the magic candy we got peppermint actually now mango with the magic candy squid ink as well as our bts all right so you guys can see that i did kind of bring down Knight from the meta tier to ss tier and the reason why i did this is because of the fact that with Crimson Coral, uh, Tina is being used a little less now, and it's a lot harder to go through a different comps with our T Knight, all right? Uh, because now with the, you know, Pattaya and Hollow Beam being used less, T Knight is going to be harder to be used. And, uh, you know, it, it's kind of like shifting in the meta. They're, they can come back up to the meta. They can slowly kind of drop off from the meta. But I'd say it's, uh, they're in like a very, like, you know, slight that, that, that uh borderline i would have to say okay uh we still have sea fairy kind of uh being in the ss tier uh so sea fairy is more towards the players who are one either able to spend a lot of money to get a really really high crystal jam even higher than the one i have right now or um you know they just really just wait and grind and then they have crimson coral to use with sea fairy sea fairy is actually really really good but the amount of resources and this stuff that is required to get her to be, be good is uh, a lot, all right? So that's the reason why a lot of people are still using Moonlight instead of Sea Fairy for that reason. Capsaicin is still really, really good. We have uh, Pattaya, Capsaicin, Hollowberry Comp still being used inside of the arena. Still a very, very solid team. So we have Sherbet kind of dropped off to the SS tier in my opinion. Uh, still very, very good. Uh, but I would say he's another one that's kind of in the borderline right now uh kind of being used kind of not being used and here and there black lemonade very very good to deal with still the tanks uh probably even better now with crimson coral actually being added allows her to be a lot tankier than before we got sorbet with the magic candy now you guys saw my review video um a lot of the rankers are saying that sorbet's damage is not as high as they expected uh but in my opinion where most players are which is going to be like master and elite I would say Sorbet's damage is still really, really good and a good way to deal with a lot of the lower promotion, no promotion Crimson Corals and other cookies out there. All right, Peppermint being used a lot more too with Crimson Coral, Mango, Squidding, same reason. And then BTS, still another great replacement for Snapdragon or any of the other cookies if you don't have them. And then lastly, the S tier are going to be the ones that are kind of dropped off now, uh, kind of being used here and there, but not as much as they used to be. And that's going to be Brute. We got Madeline with Magic Candy. We got uh, Queen of Man, Molossus with the Magic Candy, Purple Yam with the Magic Candy, Werewolf with the Magic Candy, Wallberry with or without the Magic Candy. We got our Space Donut, Frost Queen, Clotted Cream actually being used a lot lately too. And then we got Blueberry Pie, Latte with the Magic Candy, Prune Juice, as well as Captain Caviar. We got Cream Puff. All right, we got Herb as uh, well. I know you guys cannot see on the screen, so let me just zoom out real quick. And then we got Pure Vanilla. All right, so uh, this is going to be the uh, list right over here as well. So just, just keep in mind Herb as well as Pure Vanilla is right over here. All right, um, and these cookies have been used, but definitely not being used as much anymore. They still do have some comps here and there, and you guys can see some of the uh, one-shot comp members here, like uh, Space Donut as well as Captain Caviar, are not being up in the SS tier anymore because of the fact that Frill Jellyfish literally killed 
the OG type of one shot comp because of her one second star it just prevents them from doing anything and just the transition doesn't work and then the enemy team just explodes your entire cookie so that kind of one shot comp is probably going to disappear very very soon especially if you guys are versing frill jellyfish and a new type of one shot comp might be coming out but anyways guys that's pretty much the uh tier list here uh let me zoom out for you guys to see the entire tier list uh, but yeah, I, I, uh, it's it's kind of uh, shifted a little bit here. Uh, but I mean, the main cookies are still being used here, guys. Uh, especially with, you know, uh, Pattaya and Hollowberry, Moonlight, Stardust. These have been there since their release. Uh, Black Pearl here and there has been used. Shining Glitter did come up in here and there. Uh, these three supports are still really, really good with the now addition of Royal Jellyfish. And then, of course, Crimson Coral, who is honestly, in my opinion, one of the best tanks, if not the best for the entire game anyways guys that's gonna conclude for my pvp september 2023 tier list for you guys if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comments below if you guys have anything to suggest uh you know discuss you can also leave that in the comments below as well but thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys all on the next one